friends and welcome back to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida and today we will be back into our Money Mondays <laughs> and we'll be doing our paycheck to paycheck. So y'all, I got a couple more rings in here. We're looking a little better. I'm using a different setup desk wise. So it may look slightly off. I'm gonna try to fix the color. So let's look at our weekly overview and see if we have anything due this week. So this week is the 13th through the 19th. Um, some of you may say the 12th to the 19th. However, um, let's see. Capital One, I've already paid them, but we have Barclays, Citibank, and then our car note is due on the 20th. But I'm going to either pay it on Friday or Saturday because I don't get a check. Like I will get a check from unemployment on Tuesday. So it'll be too late. It'll be coming out and I don't want to mess that up. And with the unemployment check, I have to like go withdraw the money and then put it into my account in order for it to um, come out. So what I'll do is again, I'll just go take it out, put it in my bank and then pay it directly on that Friday or Saturday. Also, I have my loan due next week on the 20th and like T-Mobile can kind of wait. I had supposed to pay them last week, but they can kind of wait. I just don't want to get a triple bill. Uh, let's see, we paid Capital One. So that's pretty much, I put here, give Capital One $100. I just gave them 65. My balance is getting low. I may give them a hundred dollars. I'm going to see um, what kind of funds I'm working with. So let's go to another weekly check-in. Hold on one second, you guys. Okay, so I have the weekly check-in. I forgot to add another one, and that one kind of miscut, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. You guys, I got my coffee. I like to drink my coffee while I budget. And while we're going to start this week, let's check in at last week and kind of see what we paid, what we didn't. I didn't pay that car note because it actually wasn't due. It's not due to the 20th, so I'm ahead, which is good. Uh, T-Mobile <laughs> didn't pay them. Didn't pay this ticket, didn't pay this flag. <laughs> I did pay Capital One, as you can see, and then I did put 50 in my savings. Oh, and then even though I'm not working physically, we're still paying our booth rent. But the owner was kind enough to reduce our booth rent. So I did pay my booth rent and I actually paid it on, I think Thursday. I'll just put that day, the 11th. So I have to remember to add it into this week's budget okay so yeah so i still have to do that and that's just to make sure that i have somewhere to come back to when i am done um when i'm ready to go back to work and i'm cool with that also i have my weekly pad here just in case there's something i wrote down here um i write bills on here as well so i'm using it as a reference as well so again this is the week july 13th through the 19th <sighs> Let's see. So we said, so let me just look back over here. So we know this week we still got to pay our taxes, but on the 15th, Capital One is due. And I still may um, give Capital One some more money because I want to pay them down. I only have a $200 um, balance left. So I just figure give them something. Oh, and you know what? Citibank and Barclays. Um, they're on the 17th. So we have Capital One on the 15th. Even though I've already paid it for the month, I want to get that bill down. I have Citibank. Now, my Citibank is doing deferred payments for me but I'm still paying them. And I was giving them $100 like a week to try to pay them down really, really quickly. So I've gotten them down just a little bit, not a lot, but I'm gonna still give them 50. Um, Barclays, um, they are not deferred, but my payment is on like 29 with them, but I'm giving them 50. They were another um, 
credit card that I was given a hundred to. So, and then car note, we got to pay that on this. Let's go ahead and say the 17th as well. Now, on my car note, it only says oh, 171.64, but I'm used to paying the 180.63 or 181. So, I'm going to do that. And I'm looking into this. So, we have the Navy Federal Credit Union, my personal loan with them. That's due next week on the 20th. I'm going to give them something on the 20th or the 15th, one of those days. So I only owe them, I think, $200. I would like to give them $100. That is my goal. And I think, oh, we have these flags. I'm not going to put a date yet, but this flag on my car and ticket. The flag is $30. I don't know why I just don't go on and pay that. And the ticket is $100. So let's see what we got here. $150. 250, 350, 380, uh, 461 would be my balance, and 461, 63, I think. So I'm just going to leave it open for right now, which is not bad because my check only gets $766, so I should be able to work that. Oh, and then I do want to put my savings, y'all. I need to figure out. I do better with this check. I'm putting, I've saved more with this unemployment than I have when I was self-employed. Um, I'm saving money. I actually have something in the bank because I just don't want to get caught out there like that again. So this is it. I don't really have any notes this week, but I know I have to pay. Let me put down here, please pay. I have to leave myself these type of notes. Please pay ticket because next it'll go to the, credit bureau and I'm not having that because my credit score has jumped up so I'll put that here and then I can refer I like to leave the last week one in that way I can refer to it so right now everything is looking pretty good oh I forgot booth again see so what did I say 463 so that's 563 it's more than that, but still. Okay, and I'll do the calculations later. Um, I don't need any stickers this week because um, there's nothing extra that came up, not to my knowledge. And again, I just like to go over into the month. I need a monthly view. I don't know about you guys, but I need a monthly view because I need to see my stuff ahead of time. Excuse me. And so... As you can see, I've added some more stickers to it. Just some nice little black and white stickers. And these are from Anika Creative Closet, my good girlfriend and planner babe. And y'all, you got to get these. I'm telling you, they are so cute. And she has her Adidas on. So that's all I've added to the monthly view. I'm checking to see if, oh, let me back up. One of these days, I think it was on the 11th, Canva came out. And I need to make a note of that because I was so confused on what day it was coming out. So I will go through my bank account and look to see what date that is, that why that came out. And so I have some more things coming out, subscriptions, and I need to pay close attention. And I think, I'm going to put here on the 31st, seeing people that really think they're the first. So I'm going to leave that alone. But yeah, you guys, so this is our week-to-week -week budget. As some of you like to say, and I know E. Michelle likes to say, paycheck to paycheck. So I'll probably be putting me some of these out. I have not updated them only because I just haven't had the time working on orders, um, the podcast, just everyday life things I have to get done. So I'm going to try to sit down because I want all my stuff to match and look the same. So I'm going to try to work on it this week, you guys. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. And also, don't forget. I do have a podcast. It is Norris Cove, the podcast. You can find me over on Anchor. I believe we're on, I know we're on Spotify. And you can also find me on Apple, I believe. But it's more places are uploading now. And this week we're talking business and how to start a business. So tune in tomorrow, Tuesday, July the 14th, if you want to start a business. I give you some nine pieces of nuggets on starting a business. This is not the be all, end all. It's just to get you going.
Okay, so until our next meeting on Monday for Money Mondays, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.